Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review of the Logitech G29. First, I'm gonna go through all the pros and cons, and then I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth, show you some hands-on with the wheel, and dive into the specifics. All right, so first for the pros, we're just gonna name these off. This wheel has force feedback, so the wheel actually turns and adjusts to whatever game that you're playing. For instance, if you went over a bump, instead of a wheel without force feedback, which would just stay, maybe rumble, this one's actually gonna have the wheel turn, so you're actually gonna have to fight the wheel as you drive. As well, the build quality is amazing. It's built from steel and plastic. The G29 works with PC, PS4, and PS4. PS3, and the other Logitech, the G920, which is basically the same wheel, it's just for Xbox instead. So depending on if you use Xbox or PC or PS4, there's an option for you. Another one is incredibly easy setup. I'll go into that later. Another pro is tons tons of programmable buttons. You can program to whatever you want. Another one is the design. It is such a sexy design. In my opinion, the best sim racer design out there that's not like insanely expensive. Another one kind of like build quality, but it's a little different because it's more experience. It feels nice. Like you don't feel like you're going to break it while you're using it. It feels very sturdy. And the last one, it's cheap. Now, the only con that I could really come up with with this is that it's hard to learn how to actually do. And I will go into that more after I go over all of the pros. So now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper. Forced feedback. Forced feedback on this is great. It's got dual motors, so it's gonna go both ways. You can really adjust the wheel settings like insanely like you can completely turn off force feedback if you just don't like that you can turn on vibration turn vibration off so if you're someone who really likes a really heavy steering wheel you can do that in the settings and it happens instantaneously it's incredible and it really immerses you in the game and it also can make it less challenging or more challenging next one the construction the construction is really good much better than i thought it's got really nice leather really well stitched sometimes when i looked at pictures of it i thought it was gonna be kind of like cheap kind of stuff no like this literally feels like a steering wheel really really nice stitching around it. And the crossbar in the middle is steel, as well the shifter pedals are also metal. The base that it comes on is plastic, but you're not really using that a lot, so it's not really an issue. It's not like it feels like it's going to break because it's, you know, there's nothing moving. It's basically just there for looks. The buttons feel really clicky. The shifter pedals especially have this really nice satisfying click every time you click it. Here's the sound of that. Now as far as what it works with and the setup, I actually don't have a PS4 or Xbox, so I wasn't able to set it up with that, but I've watched other videos and they said that it's not too complicated. But I set the G29 up on my PC and it was incredibly easy. I mean, literally plugged it in. I just connected the wires. There wasn't even that many. I think there was two I had to plug in. Plugged it into an outlet, plugged the USB into my computer, and then I downloaded a single driver, which I will include in this video if you guys do buy the wheel, which again, it will be in a link for Amazon and link in the description. I think right now it's $213, which is incredible because when it came out, I think it was close to like 400 or 500, but the setup's incredibly easy. It took me probably about five minutes total. As well, when you do set it up, like to get the drivers to set it up, Logitech gives you the place where you can program everything so you can all the buttons can be programmed to whatever you want as well in game whatever game you're playing with it you can program it to that and as far as the design there, there are led lights just like on like a ferrari or a race car that light up when you're supposed to shift those only work in some games i believe i wasn't able to get those to work in forza but i don't really care about that i mean it's kind of cool but it didn't really bother me as far as it feels it feels really nice it's also not too loud if you turn the force feedback way up and you're doing like something off-road where it's like a lot of like rumbling and stuff um, it'll get kind of loud, but really not too bad at all. I could comfortably just use speakers without having to put headphones on and it didn't really bother me. As well, it kind of adds to the experience because it makes you feel like there's not just something happening in the video game, but it's actually happening in real life too. It's very cool experience. And guys, the last one is cheap. As I said, again, it's $213. There's an Amazon link below if you guys want to check it out. As well, the drivers are linked below. So if you guys buy this and want to find the drivers easily, I'll also have those linked below. Now as well, another pro, if you guys are a manual type person and not like a paddle shifters, me personally, I just like using paddle shifters, but if you guys want a manual stick with the clutch, the pedals also have a clutch. There's three pedals. There's a gas pedal, brake pedal, and a clutch. You guys can also buy the clutch. I think it's $70, 60 $70. Uh, I'll also link that below if you guys want to check that out. But as far as the gas pedal and brake pedal, it's incredibly nice to play like racing games and you don't just have to go, like especially on a PC, it's not just like 100% power. It's like you can just relax sometimes or sometimes like the building up and the sound with it. It's super incredible, especially in Forza Horizon. You guys definitely to get Forza Horizon play with the wheel. It's really, really nice. Now moving on to the con. There's only one of them. I literally cannot find any others. I couldn't think of any. So the thing that I wasn't expecting is how hard it is. Like it took me about an hour to two hours just to be able to normally drive at like 60 to 100 miles an hour. Before when I turn, I would just turn too much and just yeah, it was, yeah. I also thought like drifting, like I saw all these videos on YouTube, people drifting with it, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be able to do that easy. 
it takes skill guys like this is literally like driving a real car so i kind of enjoy that aspect of it because you get to like legitimately challenge yourself at home sitting down on your computer so you don't have to spend money on a car or gas and it's just really cool to be able to drive your like dream cars in a video game but you're actually driving yeah but guys i hope you enjoy this review if you guys do want to check it out again link in the description 213 bucks on amazon brand new go check it out i'll see you later guys peace